Hey guys, this is my tutorial for setting up Pop Starter on a internal hard drive on a fat PS2. So what you're going to need is a soft modded PS2 with free McBoot, an internal hard drive that has been properly formatted, uh, a USB flash drive, I'm going to be using this folder here for today's tutorial, and also you're going to need a game that you want to play on your PS2, PS1 game. You're going to need these files, um, I cannot tell you how to get those. You're gonna have to use Google, but we're gonna go ahead and throw them on the flash drive right now. Next thing, you're gonna copy the bin and Q file from your PS1 game, and you're gonna open up the pop stutter folder. I'll put this in the description. You're gonna open up Q to pops. You're gonna go ahead and paste your game in there, and then this is important, make sure you use the Q file, drag it to Q to pops. It's gonna open command line and you're gonna get this. This is what you want, the VCD. <clears throat> and so next, uh, I always just go ahead and delete these, no longer needed, and you're gonna drag that VCD over to your flash drive. Next, you're gonna wanna grab this popstarter.elf file and copy it and then paste it in here and you're gonna wanna rename it to the same thing as your VCD. So for this one, I'm gonna rename it spider dash man dot elf. All right, and now once the VCD has finished transporting, you're good to go. All right, so now that we have the pop starter files, the game elf and the game VCD, the rest of this is going to happen on the PS2, so what you're going to want to do is eject your flash drive and put it in your PS2 and from we're going to go on from there. Alright, so once you're on the PS2 and you have your flash drive plugged in, you're going to open up Ulaunch Elf, you're going to go to the file browser, you're going to go to MISC, you're going to go to HDD Manager. Now it's going to load up everything I have on there, so it's going to, it might take a minute. Alright, now once you're in here, you're going to need to make a new partition for your hard drive. I have it right here. It is underscore underscore dot pop. So let me show you how to make that. You're going to press R1 on your controller. You're going to click create. In here, you're going to enter, like I said, so I'm going to go underscore underscore dot and all capitals pops. And you're going to, you're going to click OK and you're going to create that. Now, when you click OK, it's going to ask you how big you want it. I already have this. I set mine to like 8 gigabytes. You can set it to however big you're going to need for how many ever files you're going to be putting in here. Now, once you have that set up, you're going to go into your hard drive partition or path here. And then in the common folder, you're going to create a folder called Pops. In here, this is where all of your... Uh, virtual memory card things will be created, these are mine. But also, it's where you're going to be placing the Sony files from earlier, the pop starter files. In here, you're also going to be creating a folder called pop starter underscore elfs. This is the way I do it, keeps everything very organized for launching games. So let me show you how to do all this. You're going to go into your flash drive, it's mass. You're going to go into the folder where you threw everything we grabbed earlier. Now you're going to grab the pops.elf and the iopRP252.image files. You're going to mark them by pressing X on your controller. You're going to press R1, copy, go back, hard drive, common, pops, and paste them right here. Now once those are in, you're gonna grab the VCD file for your game. So spiderman.vcd. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go back. Hard drive zero. And now you're gonna see your underscore dot pops partition that we made earlier. You're gonna go in there. And this is where all of your VCDs will go. So you're gonna press R1 and paste. Now, this is the slowest method of doing this, I believe. As you can see, it's going to take 23 minutes. You can do this through 
network, but I just don't have the ability to do that. And so uh, I will be back once this is done transferring. All right, so once your VCD is done transferring, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to your flash drive and you're going to grab the ELF file now. Copy that. And you're gonna go back to your hard drive to the common folder, pops, the pop starter ELF folder. That if you haven't set that up, set it up now. You can do that by just R1 and new directory and then you name it. In here, we're gonna paste our ELF file. We're gonna launch it. The Elgato does not like this process very much, so it's a little choppy when it's first rendering. But as you can see, the game loads. Now, not all games are compatible with this. Uh, like the last videos on my channels showed, uh, Crash Bash has issues. But a lot of games are compatible, and it's great to be able to play them again like this. So um, I'll just do a little playthrough here now, and uh, yeah. Technology is the light that will cut through the darkness. When humanity conforms to a single truth, a truth based in technological progress and scientific method, we will be unstoppable. I, Dr. Otto Octavius, vow as a scientist and businessman that my duties to humankind will be fulfilled. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, nice words, Octavius. These executives knew you the way I do. I wonder if they'd be so quick to applaud. Just keep shooting, Eddie. When J. Jonah Jameson sees these photos, my career is gonna be right back on track. Check one one, where's your twenty? Just backstage. All is <laughs> Who dares? Face me, coward! Face a worthy foe. Spider-Man? <laughs> Last time I checked, I was Spider-Man. Spider-Man? What's he doing? I gotta get into my costume and take out this imposter. I can't get free of this crowd. I can't get a shot. Jameson would pay any price to get this kind of dirt on Spider-Man. That was Eddie Brock. Who the? He looked familiar. But... Yeah, whatever. Stay focused, bro. He... He's stealing Octavius's device. Oh, no. He sees me. My camera. No! Ah, it's over! It's all over! I blew it again! Oh, I can hear Jameson's voice already. Brock, you loser! If I had given a real photographer that job, I would finally have the evidence to send Spider-Man away forever! You're through, Brock! When I am done with you, you won't be able to get a job taking wedding pictures in Siberia! I tried to fight it. Rest on it! Can't fight him anymore! Again, innocence falls prey to the evil of Spider-Man. Rest easy, Brock. Venom is here. And if it's the last thing we ever do, Jameson and the insect are gonna pay. Phase one completed. Let us begin phase two. <laughs> yeah. It's him. Welcome, true believers and newcomers alike. Spider-Man co-creator Stan Lee here. Once again, we find our hero, Peter Parker, 
better known around the world as the amazing Spider-Man in a heap of trouble. But this is just the beginning, Spidey fans. So get ready for a true superhero action thriller, packed to the brim with thrills and chills, twists and turns, more super villains than you can shake a web at, and of course, non-stop web-slinging, wall-crawling action. Thanks, Cat. My Spidey compass will help me find the bank. Spidey! That's a web cartridge. You can carry up to ten of them. If I jump yeah, forward see, and then swing, like said, I'll be able to reach the next building. The, uh, textures are messing Just up keep your here. eyes open. But, uh... There are patches being worked on bad people. You just got to look into it. But, there must um, yeah, be another hostage the around here started. somewhere. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope uh, I hope this helped anybody trying to figure I this out. I need to put the bomb in a...